What is the Holy Spirit? What does it mean? And for us New Agers, so to say, for us who are very spiritual, but perhaps don't follow any specific religion anymore. What does it mean for us? I'm always thinking about spirituality, philosophy, religions, and how everything ties together. And I was just in this old church right here. I'll show you. I'm talking quietly because I don't want to disturb the peace of the moment here. I want to be respectful to the place that I'm at. I was just inside this beautiful old church called St. Wendelin in the Valley of the Heart. <laughs> it's really beautiful. And I just went in there and I was quiet and I meditated and I actually got this download. That the Holy Spirit, what is it? You know, especially if you grow up going to church, sometimes we always hear about the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So for all of you who are Catholic or Christian or have another religion that talks about the Holy Spirit, absolute 100% respect to you and your way of seeing and believing this. I grew up in a relatively Christian society. I was never truly religious. Um, in any extreme way but I did grow up going to churches once in a while um, the area here where my mother grew up in the Black Forest people are very Catholic so I used to sing hymns and go to church and I used to hear about the Holy Spirit a lot um, prayers are done in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit so I just thought right now what is the Holy Spirit and recent recently I've been thinking about that and this, this is what my conclusion is. So please tell me if you have a different opinion. I respect it. You know that we are open to all kinds of discussions. We want to learn together all about spirituality and about being one and about connecting to spirit. So I believe that this is the case, that throughout history, knowledge has come forward in steps in different stages right a hundred years ago we didn't know what we know now that knowledge that understanding of us being part of the universe of us like having reincarnated many times being star seeds in most societies this knowledge was not coming forward i believe in old times in atlantean times in lemurian times and individually in different places in the world knowledge was more open and you know, spirit was more widespread, the knowledge about spirit, the deeper knowledge about that we are spiritual beings, and that which I talk about a lot on my channel, all that was more known, but in mainstream society, it wasn't. So I believe that the knowledge that came forward about being connected to your higher self, to angels, to guides, to God, I think that connection was called the Holy Spirit. So today we even say, oh, um, I'm going to ask the Spirit for this, I'm going to ask Spirit for that. So I believe that the knowledge of Spirit wasn't so individual as it is now that, that we discuss every day, our Spirit Guides, our Higher Selves, our Masters, Angels, Archangels, you know, the Akashic Records. So I feel that the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, that Holy Spirit part, meant the connection to the divine, to light, to light codes, the direct connection to God or to 
any very positive higher dimensional spiritual source that's what i believe the holy spirit meant through all those times and it was just the knowledge that there was that as a unit kind of as <laughs> it's hard to describe um that the other side the other side of light was just holy spirit and when people got messages or when people channeled things now we call it channeling when you got higher knowledge from your higher self or from beings of light or from god directly that was called the holy spirit that the holy spirit is moving through you and now what we're doing we are recognizing that the holy spirit as a whole concept is more individual we are recognizing now that when spirit moves through us it's from specific sources now we don't always have to identify if spirit moves through you and you're having a moment you know you're having a spiritual moment you're having a download you don't always have to know exactly where is it coming from but i think it's it's interesting in this discussion to understand that spirit and the holy spirit is a connection to the divine that can actually be many different beings or places not just one okay so i know that we do have the crown chakra we have divine source we have the god spark that allows us to open our psychic senses that allows us to open our spiritual senses to receive information from the other side or from spirit but who do we connect to and what do we connect to so that's the question and i feel that the holy spirit is just a broader term for the different ways of receiving information of the different light beings so primarily holy spirit can be divided into your own higher self your own soul consciousness that you connect to that you get information from right your own higher self you don't always have to be channeling you know saints or angels or the pleiadians you don't many times when i am in tune and when i'm channeling information it's from my own higher self it's from my own soul because my soul is just as smart as any pleiadian or spirit guide out there if i connect to it the question is just connecting to your own soul consciousness so i think the holy spirit can mean connecting to your own higher self to your own angelic fifth dimensional seventh dimensional tenth dimensional angelic oversoul right at any dimensional level so the first part of it connecting to your higher self the second part is connecting to your spirit guides all those beings that are there to guide you in your own life your inner circle of spirit guides your outer circle of spirit guides perhaps even positive light beings that are deceased loved ones another one is connecting to your angels and archangels the angelic realm that is also i believe one of the traditional ways to connect to the holy spirit is maybe connecting to angels and archangels and another way is connecting to your ascended masters to higher vibrational masters who are at a very high dimensional level who are not angels who are not your spirit guides but they are higher masters and teachers that you can connect with and last but not least of course it's connecting to god source creator source itself or himself or herself there's a, a couple other ways of course to connect to spirit i like to also connect to the consciousness of mother gaia of our planet earth so planet earth is a conscious sentient being and i think that can be categorized as connecting to spirit or having the holy spirit move through you in connection to our earth mother gaia or in connection to the moon to the sun or any other celestial body out there as well so that's what came to me in that church that the holy spirit moves through you from many different sources in many different ways and obviously the one criteria is that it's light that is coming from a place of light and love di directly from creator source and not from any dark or negative streams or beings or consciousness or spirit so that's the thought that i had there so let me know what do you think 
What does the Holy Spirit mean for you? How do you connect to the divine? Who do you connect to? When you're channeling through information, where are you channeling this information from? What do you believe? What is your experience? I'd like to know and let's start a discussion down there in the comments. So I appreciate you very much being part of this channel. Um, always take a look in the description box below. There are some goodies there. There's links to private readings. There's links to um, different sources. Also some free goodies are coming up soon. So always take a look at the description box to see if there's something that may interest you. Okay, thank you so much. Love you all. May the spirit flow through you. you are Ciao. Divine.